Hi folks, well, I've got the Peugeot 107 back in the shop uh, again with another common fault. This time it's the indicator stock uh, switch, uh, it's gone faulty. This has actually happened to this car uh, once before, uh, and the last time I took the stock off and cleaned up all the contacts on the switch because uh, that's what causes it is like faulty contacts. You see there, that's working when I'm partially holding it, but when I push it all the way to indicate it's not working. Right hand isn't working at all. So instead of cleaning it, this time I am just going to replace the stock. So in this video I'm just going to go through the process of taking off the old stock and fitting the new one uh, to show you how it's done because I couldn't find any videos on YouTube that show the process of actually stripping it down. There are some really good videos showing how to take the stock apart and uh, clean up the contacts if that's the route you want to take. Uh, personally, I've done that and I uh, can't be bothered doing it again so I opted for the complete replacement. So the first thing we've got to do is take the steering wheel off. And to do that involves removing the airbag. So I'm going to have to uh, go and disconnect the battery. Right, so that's the battery disconnected. I can move on to removing the airbag. And to remove the airbag we've got these screws either side of the steering wheel. They're uh, T30 Torx. So I just use this T30 Torx screwdriver to remove those. This is actually a tamper proof bit uh, with a spike in the middle but you can just use a regular T30 Torx bit. So once you've got those loosened, um, they don't actually have to come all the way out. The centre cap should just gently lift off. Remembering you've got wires attached to the back for the airbag and stuff. So once we've lifted that off, we can see around the back here we've got the wiring for the horn and for the airbag. And they're both different types of uh, connectors. This one, just need a little flat blade screwdriver. Just pop it down the back there. Just pop up that centre bit. And then this should just pull off, like so. And for the horn, we just press down on the top tab and that slides out. And now the airbag's out, next thing I'm going to do is take off this 19mm nut. Uh, I'm going to use my impact, you could probably get away with a, just a socket. So now I've got the nut off, I'll just put a thin line on there, marking up where the steering wheel goes on the splines. Right, now I've got that marked up, I'll put the nut back on. Just a few turns, not tight. Just enough to expose the end of the uh, thread there, and then I'm going to get someone else to help me. Just tap on that uh, centre spindle uh, whilst I'm pulling on the wheel, which should help uh, loosen the uh, uh, steering wheel up. Alternatively, you could use a steering wheel puller or a bearing puller, uh, just screwed into these holes here, and the steering wheel should just slide off. Just watching the wiring. And I can put that down in the passenger footwell. Right, so now we've got the steering wheel out of the way, we're just going to remove these uh, surrounds. So we've got two screws here, which are just Phillips heads, and then one just in there. And once you've got all the screws out, I just drop the steering column a bit, using the steering lock, and then these should just lift off. Just takes a kind of snapping action. Right, out. right now we've got the surrounds off we can get access to all the wiring so we just need to take out all these plugs uh, pretty self-explanatory they can only really go in one place so no real need to take a huge amount of effort memorizing where each one goes and they all seem to be the uh, push tab type so we'll just take all them out right now I've got all those connectors off apart from the uh, yellow one at the bottom I'm going to take this uh, ring off uh, this is just three tabs you've just got to lift up I've already done that. I'm just going to let that hang down there just now. Right, now we've got that ring out of the way, I'm going to use my uh, angled needle nose pliers. Down the back here, there's two tabs. I don't know if we're going to make, be able to make it out. There's two tabs down there and they press together. So get these onto them. I keep those squeezed together. And then this should, this whole assembly should slide off. A bit. There we go. Ching! So there you can see the ring I was squeezing together. We're just squeezing together these two tabs. 
Make sure the needle knows like so. Right, so there you see the original indicator stock and then the bottom of the new one. Now this one doesn't have the uh, wiper stock on it so we need to take that off the old one. It's basically just pressing this tab here and it just slides out in that direction. Press this down and that slides out just like that. And then we just slide that onto the new stocks until it clicks into place. You see here this has got this tab holding those springs together and then basically it's just the reverse of taking it off. Right so now it's all back together we'll check it's all fixed. So ignition on and left hand is working, right hand is working, lights, side lights, main lights, and full beam, yep, so, yep, looks like it's been a successful job. So I hope at least someone will find this uh, video useful, and if you do, please click like and possibly leave a comment if you've got time. But that's it, thanks for watching, bye for now.